What up, what up, what up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw a pinup style character, a thick one. One that's sitting on her knees with her booty sticking out, sticking far out. But enough of that, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I usually say when I'm talking about drawing people in whatever form or fashion you wanna draw is to start off by drawing, um, you know, the skeleton form factor of your character. Usually I like to use like, um, you know food fruits and vegetables and stuff for my form factor for example for this woman's legs I'm gonna use like two drumsticks I'm just gonna tie them together just like this to make them look like she's on her knees like she's leaning back in a sexy position I'm gonna have her toe right here kicking, kicking back behind her butt and um, pretty much that's it when it comes to the legs just really just you know do like the, like the foods foods really do help or cylinders whatever you use I use these all the time I say it in my videos that this is how I draw people and then do the same thing with the other character draw like a like a tablet or like a Altoid or some type of uh, mint candy style um, thing just to get it going and then for her body I'm just going to give her like a little little slender waist just because I want her body to be kind of twisting where she's showing off both of her butt cheeks in the, in this video and so pretty much just I with her body like so I'm going to show it really slender and like I say with all the female characters that I draw is always draw a triangle for her torso before you start going to the top and with my character I'm going to have most of her body covered with her hair so I don't have to have too much detail on her hair and yeah and then you just start plugging away you can do the arms usually arms for me but how I do arms is just mainly just tubes like bent out seats um, tubes plastic tubes and then just keep on plugging away at it for my character in particular also I'm gonna give her a big busty chest like big old bangers you know right out there just gonna let them sit out there make them be super perky and just standing straight up you know uh, yeah just make them be firm and I'm thinking I'm gonna make her butt a little bit bigger in this video and pretty much when it comes to shapes and form factor like I said before you really just want to sketch it out before you just start finalizing and that's the only way how I can draw uh, for example I think I made her head too big and she looked like a goblin I'm gonna probably have to edit that out uh, soon. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that in a moment I'm still working on her chest trying to get that that perfect form for her I'm also not feeling her right leg. I feel like it's just there. She looks like she's sitting on a plate, if you will, be about to be served up, and it's just not working for me. Um, and what one of the hardest things that um, was hard for me while drawing this character was her butt initially, because I wanted to have both her cheeks showing. So I really had to show like a twist factor, and um, I know I messed up because I didn't make her butt big enough when I finally finished the image. I realized that her butt wasn't big enough, and I couldn't go back and change it. So I was like. Ah. So just keep on going, keep on plugging away. Like I said, it's trial and error. No one's perfect, but um, you just gotta have fun with it. And like I said, these tubes and cylindricals and foods, they really do help out, you know. Uh, apparently I'm giving my woman melons, which I probably shouldn't have given her such big breasts, but this is more of a cartoon style character. It's not really a, um, it's not really a, a realistic character. If I was doing realistic characters, then it would be different. But since this is just more of a fun character, then it is what it is. And like I said, I'm not really feeling her right leg. I think I'm going to delete that in a second. But um, when it comes to making your character, don't forget to add different layers just so you can be able to tell what's what. For example, I'm going to start working on her hair. And uh, I've made, made a whole new layer for it just so I can get it a bit separated from the body layer. And so you just start plugging away with the, with the hair and stuff. And you can really have a lot of fun. Like I said, most of her body, her whole entire upper part is going to be mainly hair you're not gonna see her shoulders um, you're gonna see her arm uh, but her hair is gonna be covering up her arm too part of her back's gonna be covered up by her hair uh, most of her face is gonna be covered up by her hair and um, you just gotta really plug away at it and just uh, continue you know like figuring out how you want to do your hair hair's always been a bit challenging for me usually for me hair the best way how for me to make hair is I make a bunch of triangles and then after I make the triangles I add like little squigglies at the end of them and then when I'm finalizing it I do some really cool things at the end just to make it really show out and um, just you know add some squigglies add some parts of the hair sticking out make sure you add um, like a hairline or a jagged part of the hair just to show where it's at and like I said earlier I think I made this my character's head a little bit too big so I'm gonna make it a little smaller move it around in a second here once I make the next layer for the eyes and the uh, the initial face and the ear and pretty much just keep on doing that and um, 
if you're some people, someone like me who actually needs to use the lines here, to, you know, the guidelines, um, the facial guidelines, I do use them sometimes, but not all the time, depending how I'm feeling for your character. This character is coming along pretty easily, so I'm not using all the skeletal formats for her body too much anymore. It's only mainly for the legs and her torso, lower torso and her arms. That was basically it, but for the head, I'm, I'm not going to really use the lines. I'm just going to plug and play with it and just see what I can do. And like I said, you really just want to go for it, go back and forth when it comes to making your character. And when you get your initial outline of your character, then you can start adding clothing and things like that just to really mix it up. Uh, at the end of the video, or when I finish speaking, I'm going to do another time lapse where I'm going to show you how I finalize this. It's going to be sped up and just so you guys can see what it's like. But as you can see right here, I'm trying to edit the character's eyes and the head's still too big. I tried using a different color, more louder color, just so it's more visible for me. But I'm not really feeling it too much. And in a moment, I'm going to like get rid of it and shrink it down a little bit. I'm going to add some some big, thick lips because, you know, it's, this is like a pinup character. You know, sexy, beautiful character, trying to make it beautiful. I'm going to add a little twist to it as myself. Um, with their arm sleeve, instead of giving her a bunch of tattoos, I'm gonna give her like this like bandage style thing. Maybe go kind of like like Far Cry 5, whatever. New Dawn. You never know. Just have some fun with it, like I'm gonna be doing here. And uh, again, like I said, I didn't give this woman her, um, her butt too much justice. It's kind of small in my opinion. I feel like I could have done so much more, but yeah, I just gotta keep on plugging away. And as you can see right here, I'm editing it. I made it a little smaller. I'm gonna go back to the blue layer. I'm gonna get rid of the initial head right here because I don't like it. And I'm going to go back to the purple layer, and you can see I made the head a little smaller, shrank it down a little bit, now it looks a bit more proper. And yeah, that's all you got to realistically do is just practice with it, uh, trial and error, and that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I don't really know any way else I can describe it. Mainly, these videos are more geared towards on how to make the bodies of the characters, so you can figure out how to do that. Um, and then when it comes to finalizing, I just speed it up because, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that's pretty much the video for you guys. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. If I'm not saying enough, please let me know so I can adjust myself and make myself more aware of what you guys are needing in my videos. But that's pretty much it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Great um, Gaming, Common Sense Graphics. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching my video. For these tips and tricks for making these thick, thick, juicy, luscious women want to make some more because women is such a fun type of person to draw over men. I like I like drawing women. I get commissioned to draw a lot of rappers and stuff, but women are my most favorite to draw. But that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, enjoy the time lapse as I finalize this image. Put color to it. Put black lines to it. Do her hair. Everything. It's amazing. Your boy out.